Okay, I'm going to talk about a couple things in this video. First is I'm going to talk about how to format this chart here to get uh, something that looks like this down here. And the second thing I'm going to talk about is how to format VBA to where you can have control through uh, these boxes uh, as to which ones show on the graph. So I'll delete this, 2017 goes away, delete that, 2018 goes away. So that's what I'm going to talk about. But first, let's get to the formatting. So uh, in order to format this, um, I've gone ahead and put some example of how you would type out the data. Um, you can see the first one, everything's punched together. And uh, if I was to do this and come up here to the charts, You can see it's everything spaced out even, evenly, and <clears throat> it's got uh, the years and then very shaded lines. And I can barely see um, those lines. I don't know. I don't believe there's a way to darken those. Um, so, you know, this is fine if this is what you want, but there, there's also a way where we can have them a little more defined, where I can easily look at this and see, you know, which ones belong to 2020, which ones belong to 2021. So, in order to properly um, do that, we're going to have to do this down here, but to, to show sort of how this works. So, I've gone from this, and I've put a space in between the ending from, like, column three here to, to the, the next one. And so, let's see how that looks. And so, you can see it's a little more spaced out. And you can see there's big spaces on the right, but there's nothing on the left. So it looks a little uneven, a little unbalanced. So that's when you come down here and you move these up. So now we have, with the data, we have a blank line here, a blank line here, a blank line here, a blank line here. That's what's going to give us some definition in this chart. It does look like there are some ways to uh, format these to uh, you know, make them a little more uh, stand out uh, if you don't want to have the giant spaces in between. You can sort of see here that this one does a pretty good job at highlighting those lines. So now that we've gotten that, I'm going to talk about how to get um, these total amounts on the top. You can see here I've got. Uh, this is a stacked column, and I've gotten numbers for every single stack and then a total on the top. So uh, how to do that? First, we're going to come in here, and we're going to create a, a stacked column. I'm going to go to Recommended, and it's recommending that there. <clears throat> and so then I'm going to right-click to show the data labels on these. And I am going to format these. So we got the, the formats there. And they're a little more um, defined. And if you come in here to the chart area, you're not going to find uh, anything that totals these up. So what we have to do is we have to create a total column here. And we're going to add them up. Delete this. Alright. Then we're going to come up here. Recommend a chart. Alright, now you can see it's now highlighting the total here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to fill and we're going to make this a no fill. And then I'm going to go to add. add data labels on these. I'll click on the data labels, format the data labels, and then on the label position, we're going to choose inside base. That's going to put those right above where we want. Now if I wanted to pretty these up, I could do uh, down here to number, zero decimal places, 
There's that. So that's how you get the totals on the top. So now let's talk about how to get um, these things linked to uh, certain cells. So on the chart here, you can see that you have the filter thing over here to the right. And you can click on these and choose which ones you want to show and which ones you don't want to show. So I didn't want any of, these, any of those first ones to show. I could delete this like that. And we got one more here. And I would get rid of the 2020 completely. So how we're going to do this is we're going to use VBA to uh, automatically uncheck those uh, when a cell is a certain amount. So we go developer, visual basics. And this code is going to depend on you know what kind of chart you have, what kind of data you have on it. So um, you know there's no real standard uh, code to use. But there, we are going to start it out. We're going to go to, let's see, we're on sheet, data input. This would be on sheet two normally. I'm going to use the, the one I've already created, though. We would have to put this on sheet two if we wanted this one to work. So <clears throat> you can see here what, we, what we've done is uh, work sheet change. Um, come up here to worksheet and change and then that's going to open up a uh, let's do it on sheet 2 here so come up here worksheet change we're going to start this off with um, application at screen updating equals false and what this does is this basically says uh, when uh, Excel is running this code it goes line by line and it updates the Excel every time it runs a new line of code so it's going to do line one update line two update line three update and it looks uh, really clunky and it slows it down a little bit so my turning the screen updating off we're saying we don't want you to update the, the file we want you to just process all the code that we have in there and then once you've finished update everything all at once that's what we're doing so we're going to wrap that false is turning it off and true is turning it on so I've created a little area here where we're going to place an X if we want it to show and, and delete the, uh, the X and have, have it blank when we don't want it to show on the chart so uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put uh, a couple things. The first thing we're going to need is a snippet of code that says uh, when we change this cell right here, uh, we want the code to run. So it's going to be if target target address, which is uh, means uh, can be thought of as when you when you change this cell equals. I'm going to make sure I get the formatting right. Let's see. Okay, so this is important because if you don't have these, whatever reason, if you don't have these number signs in there, uh, it won't work. So you got to have the dollar signs uh, locked on there. And for this one, it's going to be I3. We're going to say it's a if then else statement. So if the target address is that, then. Then, so we're saying when this when this cell is is changed, we want it to run this code. So then the code we want it to run is if uh, if the cell in I three okay, range I three dot value equals X then and so this is where we're gonna put the, uh, the little snippet that turns this on and off so how I recommend doing this is just coming up to uh, the developer tab here and recording a macro if you're doing it that way you get the the, uh, the template so we're gonna turn that on come over here we're gonna uncheck a couple of these here apply 
and I'm going to stop recording. And so you come over here, under module 2, you see it recorded all of these. And so this is going to be the uh, snippet that we need here. So when it's an X, we want it to be uh, on. And so we're going to change these to false. And so uh, we've written this out to where when we've indicated that we want to see it on the chart, we're not going to filter it. And if um, we have not put an X there, then it's blank, which means we uh, don't want to see it on the chart. So we are going to filter out those uh, line items. So the difference, that the one that indicates which data um, uh, bar it is, is right here. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. So for the other ones, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to change this one through five for uh, whatever numbers that we're looking for. In this situation, everything's the same. I have the same number in each of them. One, two, three, four, we got five in each. So It'll be pretty simple here. I'll just change this to six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the next one. Um, if you have an uneven amount of data, though, you would have to sort of go through and just count them up. You know, it starts from the top. So, twenty twenty right here is going to be the the one, and then the two, and three, and so on. All right. So we finished this. So I'm going to close this with, uh, and these aren't spaced spaced out like you probably should have them. But let's go ahead and do that. All right. So then I'm going to come down here in, in this if statement. And then in this if statement. So then I'm going to separate this. And I'm going to comment this out. And this is just for visual purposes. If I put a line, it's going to have a problem with it. Okay, so I'm going to hit the little, uh, the one little squiggly there, and then I'm going to do some lines. And this comments it out so that it won't try to process it as code. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to copy paste this. And I'm going to change this. And this time we want I4. So I'm going to come over here and change both of these to I4. And I'm going to change these to 6 through 10. And then I'm going to copy and paste this again. And I'm going to change these uh, numbers in this column here. All right, so now that we've gotten these all set up, um, what we can do is we can add a little comment up here that tells us um, which ones these are for in case we come in here and, and need to change anything around. So um, say this changes the uh, 2020 uh, data based on the uh, visibility input. Something to that effect. We're going to want this commented out the same way we did the line. And uh, that's going to be it. So at this point, we're going to move this over and we're going to give this a shot here and see how it goes. So place an X here. And I'm going to delete that X. And there you go. You can see that it's, these are already showing because uh, they haven't been. Uh, Alright, so I got an error message. Let's see, uh, let's sort of debug it here. Um, Alright, so I have a problem with this one right here. This is down at 2022. So 
has a problem with 15. It says it doesn't exist. So let's see how many we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we don't have that little space on the bottom one there. So I'm going to delete out 15 here. And I'm going to kill the program that's running. And we're going to try this again here. All right. So now I've deleted everything off there. So I'm going to put X there. And it populates well. Right there. That populates right there. And that populates. So that's uh, pretty much going to wrap up this. Um, it's a pretty cool uh, thing I, I figured out. I hope uh, you're able to incorporate that. And I uh, hope it helps you out.